Hi there YouTube, Big G, back again with another video and uh, another arcade mod um, this time for my Retro Pi now I purchased one of these Raspberry Pi 3's um, online great little little machine this, it's unbelievable what this thing can do I mean uh, it really works well when it comes to arcade gaming so basically the reason for purchasing this was that I wanted to build my own MAME arcade cabinet and run my retro games from there. Now, one of the issues that I had is that um, what do I use for the control system on here? This is USB powered, so the first option is to get one of those zero delay USB controllers, and uh, but they're rather pricey. So I look for a cheaper alternative, and uh, I think I found one. So basically, um, I've purchased these before, also really cheap little controllers, little PC. And it works, the, I mean the mod works with any, any one of these sort of controllers. Here's another one, this is actually the one that I used. And uh, it's one of these uh, USB powered uh, PC slash um, PlayStation controllers, uh, game pads. So basically this has everything that I require in it for me to be able to set up my controls for my Raspberry Pi in my, using RetroPie in my arcade cabinet. So this video is not about the actual cabinet, that I'll do later, it's actually the control mechanism for this. And it actually works very well, it's very easy to do, uh, a little bit tricky when it comes to the soldering, um, but uh, it's, it's, it's not that difficult to get going. So the basic premise is that the buttons that are on here, which are, which I can use in my retro pie, um, the contacts that are on there. I'm going to be wiring up my arcade buttons to these buttons so that pressing the arcade button registers one of these buttons being pressed uh, via the USB cable and uh, that's the control mechanism that I'm going to use. So first step is uh, taking this little one apart and uh, yeah these are really cheap you can buy these you know this cost me um, what about five pound one of these hundred bucks in, in my currency so really cheap so you know if you get it wrong it's not the end of the world and uh, you know take it apart and uh, and I'll show you how to get a cheap USB controller for your arcade cabinet up and running okay so I've gone and stripped down the controller taken all the buttons off and uh, this is just the actual cuts of the actual controller and first off you can see where the buttons are you can see where those copper strips are and close to each one of those copper strips you'll see a little uh, solder point that they fortunately provided for you to you so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, soldering or adding a little bit of solder to each one of these solder points so that I can take my cabling off there um, I used a multimeter for me if, to work out using continuity on a multimeter to work out where the ground points are because remember there is common ground that runs through the entire controller so I decided only to take one or two ground points off the controller because it is common and then uh, solder the um, points for the actual buttons so that your arcade controller works in the same way as what this gamepad controller will actually work by pressing the control pad on your controller it registers it through the actual button and the common ground the controller then knows which buttons being pressed and feeds that information through so exactly the same thing will happen with your arcade controller you just wiring up your arcade buttons and your joystick to each one of these points um, on your each button arcade button you have a ground a common ground as well as the actual button itself um, to register which button has been pressed this can get quite tricky guys be very careful um, don't set your soldering on too hot because you can easily burn through these pads uh, fortunately like I said at the intro these are cheap controllers so it's not the end of the world if you do go and burn a pad off well it looks a bit messy guys but there you can see I've gone and wired up I've got the little connections on for each one of them I've got more than enough buttons that I've wired up uh, obviously there is one or two more that I could have wired up maybe no I think I've wired them all up and uh, yeah a bit messy as I said tricky part is uh, the soldering not so easy not so easy guys so be prepared if you do try this a little bit of a hack 
then uh, be prepared to uh, battle a bit like I did and <laughs> it doesn't look too neat okay so here's the back of my arcade cab you can see my retro part over here with my own little homemade Tupperware container that I found and modified instead of having to purchase one of those little con uh, boxes for the retro par, but I wanted to keep it safe and uh, here is the mod so basically you can see here and I've wired up now the uh, one player section now the easiest thing to do is from your controls is to make sure that you go and number your controls easily I always find that easier so just a little tip from me and uh, using just little clips you can see these normal little spade clips he has the two player controls I haven't wired these up yet but using the little two player uh, using these little spade clips it makes very good contact um, and you can see there I've gone and hooked it up now this has given me using the one controller has given me sufficient buttons for the one and two player for the coin up as well as all the direction controls and I still have a couple of keys available so you know if I want to I suppose get into fighting games it uses a lot of buttons I do have additional buttons available on here so let's boot up a retro pie and I'll give you a quick little demonstration of how well this solution works and uh, at a later stage I'll give you a, a demonstration of the finished arcade cap when you start up retro pie obviously the first time you need to set your controls and I've already set these so it's working fine but I'm just going to go into main quickly and uh, just to show you and I've just got a couple of couple of games on here let's have a look what shall we have a look at something oh well Puyan one of my favorites let's go into Puyan And there's good old Puya. Now on my wireless keyboard, you can see there if I go into the input. And this is obviously where you're going to be setting up your button controls for MAME. Now this is using MAME for all. Seems to be working fine. And you can see there I've gone and set my player one buttons up and player two buttons. It's a matter of just pushing enter and then whichever button you want on your keyboard. And uh, it will automatically start using those. So let's just go out of there and go out of there. And uh, I've hooked up the coin up button to this button over here. There we are. It's got a... And uh, one player. and you can see the controls work well difficult to play with one hand uh, my little piggy's down so overall the controls are working very well I don't find any sort of delays with it it's given me sufficient buttons for this year I'm going to add a few more buttons when I'm when I finish off my uh, cabinet but it's working very well at the moment so that is my little mod for uh, using one of these uh, USB controllers in your MAME arcade works very well guys a little bit tricky on the soldering but just be careful and these are really cheap so if you mess it up you know it's not the end of the world as well as the fact you've got a lot of buttons on you um, which gives you the opportunity if you do mess up one of the buttons it's not the end of the world and just remember you've got common ground running through it so you don't need to wire up every one of the com or every one of the ground pins and then obviously just solder uh, for each one of the buttons so basically I've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen buttons off this little cheapo controller and it seems to work quite well so far it works well um, until uh, I finally decide to get one of those zero delay uh, USB controllers which is what everybody else seems to use but anyway it was fun doing this hack so guys cheers from me and uh, keep it retro